you know, Konami just continues to impress us. I, I don't know what else to say. So the April ban list has just dropped, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the April 15th slash 22nd ban list. And the reason I word it that way is that the ban list is region specific depending on when it's in effect. So if you are in North or Latin America, this list goes into effect on April 15th, which means if you're attending YCS Raleigh, uh, you now have one week to figure out what to play. Have fun. Uh, and if you're anywhere else, this list goes into effect on April 22nd. Cool. Okay, well, now let's show you what's on the list. Usually we do our, like, surprise live reaction, and we are live reacting to this, but unfortunately, the list is not on either of the U.S. or, I rather, N.A. or E.U. sites, so we have to actually go based off of the E.U.'s Twitter post, and so here you go, ladies and gentlemen. Here is your ban cards. We have Link Karibo, Baron de Fleur, Borload Savage Dragon, and Summon Limit. So, Link Karibo is probably a card that not a lot of people are surprised to see on here, considering this is one of the best cards in Snake Eyes. And honestly, Link Karibo is an incredibly powerful Link one, all things considered. And there have been several top players who have been saying that this card is probably one of the cards that should be banned. That's just hilarious. But Baron de Fleur and Savage Dragon also getting hit are really interesting because that is sort of like part of the end board that these Snake Eyes decks were making in tandem with Jet Synchron. And these were just two generic cards that a lot of decks were making on their end board. I'm talking to like, you know, your, your Dragon Link decks. Your, like any deck that has like a synchro focused end board probably has either Borload or Baron de Fleur. And now they're banned, which is interesting. Um, that means that like these boards that people are going to assemble turn one become a lot less weaker or either reliant on cards that are not generic and maybe part of a specific archetype. So that's kind of cool, I guess, but I don't think anyone had Baron or Savage Dragon on their radar for the things that were actually going to get banned. Because uh, typically Konami doesn't go after stuff like that. I think out of the three, Link Karibo is probably the one that makes the most sense just because it's like just generically way too strong for so many reasons, but I get it. Uh, and then Summon Limit, I think, is probably the most justifiable ban on here, considering fuck Summon Limit. Everyone hates Summon Limit. Everyone hates Floodgates. And I like how when we went through all the other Floodgates in the previous ban list, when we limited, like, Rivalry and Gozen and uh, Tikaboo, we kind of just skipped Summon Limit. And, uh, yeah, now we're finally banning this card. Thank God. This card is so oppressive. And uh, now we don't have to deal with it anymore. I don't know why you guys, like, want to watch my reaction to this, by the way, because it's not like I've been in, like, the competitive space, you know, when it comes to content creation. But... But you guys like the live reaction, so we're going to go through it anyway. Now, I will say, I did see a sneak peek of this. I have not seen the limits, the semi-limits, or the unlimits, and so we get to see those now. So let's go to the limits. Kieran coming back. Okay, so Protos is coming back. Title, okay. Colossus coming back off the ban list. Kieran, Chicken Game, and Anti-Spell. They actually fucking hit Anti-Spell. I, I cannot believe it. They fucking hit anti-spell. That is incredible. Because I thought that was going to be the next problem is that we missed other floodgates. And anti-spell being limited, you may as well just ban it. So I don't know why we just only put it to one, but it is what it is. So Protos hasn't been around for a while. Um, obviously, that was like sort of like the beginning of COVID, I think, when Protos was like running rampant. And Protos, I like this philosophy that, okay, we're going to like deal with all the floodgates and then we're going to limit Protos. We're going to bring it back into the game. Why? I don't know. Title makes sense. They're bringing uh, all the dragon rulers back like one by one because there's the new dragon ruler support that's not too far from the future. And honestly, title's probably not going to fucking do anything, so who cares? Colossus is, again, if we're talking about removing floodgates from the game, but Colossus, you know, people, people don't need to search cards. People don't need to add cards from deck to hand. Not to mention Colossus has built-in protection. Again, are we going to see like anyone actually bring thunder in any capacity? I don't know, like <laughs> maybe, but again, we're going to remove floodgates and then add more floodgates. Like what fucking sense does that make? Um, Kieran may as well be a floodgate because Kieran's annoying. I think Magispector is getting new support though. So like if they're going to bring back Kieran, which is like the best Magispector, like it makes sense. Chicken game, why? <laughs> like like this, ba I am so mixed on this. This, the way that this is being presented to us, the way that they just decided to drop this on us out of nowhere, the fact that anyone who's attending the YCS that is literally a week from, less than a week from now, has to come up with an entirely new strategy and adapt on the fly. 
Um, and then the fact that we have this mixed philosophy of we're going to handle floodgates and then simultaneously bring those floodgates, bring different floodgates back into the game. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Okay. Um, yeah, that's really all my thoughts on the limits. So that is what it is. Let's see the semis, which as you all know, I absolutely adore the semi-limited list. Uh, we have two cards. We have Armanite and Pearly Delicious Memory. Why are these cards semied? Like, is this really going to matter? Can we just realistically have either of these cards at one or three? Yes. We literally stop semi-limiting cards. I know people, especially who are on the Master Duel ban list team, want to semi-limit every single card in the game. Because I feel like every time I see a Master Duel ban list, they semi-limit like eight to ten cards every single time. And for no reason. It is it is so mindless to semi-limit versus actually limiting the card or putting it to three because it's not going to make a fucking difference. So there you go. There are your two semi-limits. I, I literally do not think either. Like, Pearly is being played, yes. And Armanite, whatever. Like, who cares? Like, the fact that Armanite's even on here at all is just hilarious to me. All right, let's go to Unlimited. This may be the most... In I, to be fair, the bands are actually maybe the most interesting part so far. Oh my God, speaking of <laughs> cards that can go to three, Mally is on here. That's hilarious. Harpoor going to three. No one's been playing fucking Orcus, so that's fine. Terratop going to three is actually kind of sick. And Engage going to three. Sky Striker players rejoice. Four more years of Ray. Let's go. This is really fucking funny to me because if Mally, if Mally is the card that is no longer on the semi-limited list, why the fuck do we have the semi-limited list? Is Rat Pier still at two? That's like maybe the only other card that like justifiably could be semi-limited. It's funny, it's all the cards that like special summon like another copy of themselves. But like even then, is this going to matter? No, probably not. No one's been playing this. No one's been playing Harpoor. Terratop going to three is neat because that's like one of the best like starters any sort of like rank three or like link two that requires like level threes for like the cherubini decks and stuff like there's stuff you can do with three terror top that might be like maybe one of the more like notable things here not that mali going to three isn't notable but it's like a lot more limiting in its application i feel and then engage is great because you know i guess they just want us to keep playing sky striker i think sky striker is getting more support though so honestly that's probably the reason this is going on here Wow, what a, what a what a way to give us a ban list. Also on a Saturday, I feel like they never give us ban lists on a Saturday of all things. Um, yeah, that's that's your ban list, ladies and gentlemen. I, I think strangely enough, something that doesn't happen very often is the fact that the bans are the most interesting part of this entire <laughs> list. I don't think I think Summon Limit was maybe a card that people probably could have guessed was going to get the axe, and Link Kariba was probably second, if not above summon limit baron and borload i don't know about that i don't think people would have guessed that this is was going to be the outcome of this ban list but i also kind of get it it's kind of annoying just seeing the same two monsters as a piece of every single end board and uh especially considering like when you have to play through everything going second that you have these other two cards to deal with not to mention that they're like recursive and they have like it's not like it's a hard once like hard hard once it's like you can do it multiple times so I kind of get it. I, I like that it sort of like allows decks to have more of like an identity in terms of like what the end boards actually are structured to look like. But yeah, uh, the rest of this is just like hilarious to me. I don't know why we're banning floodgates to unban other floodgates and then bringing back random shit like chicken game to one. Like that's just so weird to me. <laughs> and then the semi limits and the unlimits also feel like a mixed philosophy too. So uh, Mally's back at three. We finally did it, ladies and gentlemen. And if you want to play Sky Striker, you know, now, now's the time. Engages at three. Go nuts. That's it. That's the ban list. I really don't have much else to say. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the format.